Looks like we got a little bit of a Tilly on our hands. That's quite the outfit. Is this Super Smash Brothers? My goodness, what is happening here? We're in Sunday's best just to drop the gloves? Okay. Interesting. Oh, Peach gets the watch? That's fun. Oh no, our hat! Mario never loses his hat. Uh oh. Well, see ya, bye. And Peach's tiara has eyeballs? Oh, you jerk! That was a perfectly good hat! Come on, Bowser, you can't be doing that. Wedding? Doesn't seem very consensual. Mm -mm -mm. It is a nice tuxedo, though. Oh no! Monkeys, birds, propellers on airships. Always trying to destroy our hat. Wait. Is this a wedding guest? Who is this? Hmm. Well, this is weird. Looks like Mario's in pretty rough shape right now. Well, I'm not actually using Joy-Con, so thank you, game, for spoiling it once again. Flexing with the Pro Controller. Oh, this is creepy. A little spooky ghost. Huh. Looks like Mario's okay. But we are definitely not in any place that I'm familiar with. That weird hat with eyes wants us to follow it around, but where are we? Huh. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to see what it wants us to do. Wait, wait where are you going? Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's frogs? With hats? Okay. This area is very strange. There's no music. Just the, the pitter-patter of Mario's feet. And a strange... Who are you? Excuse you. Looks like... This crazy character has friends. Looks friendly enough. No kidding. Yeah, absolutely. That's saying things lightly. Calf Kingdom? I guess that makes sense. Everything looks like it's hat themed. And let's not bring up the, uh, the past here, okay? Okay. Looks like Peach's tiara was actually his sister. Interesting. Oh no! Looks like Bowser committed an act of airship terrorism. Well, that should be good. Looks like we might have a way to help each other out here. Hmm, but how are we going to get all the way up there? Doesn't sound like a bad idea. You could stop flapping our hat around. Or what's left of it, at least. Well, that doesn't look like it's going to fit very well. Maybe you could change things up a bit? Ah, much better. Oh, wait. Interesting. Okay. 
Well, it appears that this little fellow is named Cappy. Okay. And Cappy is going to be our companion throughout this series. And Cappy has many powers that we are going to be unlocking over time. Or I guess exploring is probably a better way to put it. You can throw Cappy. That's kind of the big thing that we're going to start with, obviously. Throwing Cappy all around and launching him onto things. Mario's a little dirty here. That's kind of cute. Very fun. It's a good way to get coins. Coins are handled a little differently in this version of Mario. It is, once again, a form of currency, but it is not in the typical sense that you're used to. So Cappy can be used to collect coins. You can have Cappy destroy obstacles in your way. Of course, we'll be able to encounter enemies and send them asunder, but it looks like we are uh, late for the wedding. Didn't know that was going to be a thing. So yeah, we're in the Cap Kingdom here. This area is known as Bonneton. And Cappy has let us know that we do have the ability to travel around and to borrow an airship. There's one left that wasn't destroyed, but unfortunately, it's all the way at the top of that tower up there. So we'll have to make our way up there, but first we'll do a little exploring. Cappy can also help you plant flowers, which is nice. What do you have to say for yourself? Story of my life. Just floating helplessly and watching. Okay. Yes, we are headed that way. Thank you. Don't worry. There's not really a ton you can do right now in this area. But we'll come back and we'll do more. We can turn lights on. Which my family hates. Why are you in that room with that light on? Turn that light off. So we're going to go ahead and hit this switch and build ourselves a bit of a bridge. Little did you know that Mario is actually a civil engineer. And you can get pretty quick running up and down these slopes. Pretty nice. And wouldn't you know it, there's some Goombas of the yellow variety. They've had a little bit uh, too much adult beverages in their life and they have jaundice now. And there you go. If you can solve puzzles like that, you can get hearts. And the graphic designer really went all out on the printing press here. My goodness. They really want you to know that the wedding's coming up. So there we go. We're inside the tower now, as you can probably read for yourselves. You can use Cappy to hit blocks as well. Cappy can gather coins for you. If I would get a little bit closer, I could show you that properly. There you go. And one of the features of this game that will become highly used as a mechanic, as Cappy spoils it for us, is hat capture. Have you ever wanted to become a frog, guys? Come on. This is a little weird. This part always kind of weirded me out when I played this game the first time. But it appears that we are becoming one with the frog. Eventually. And there you have it. We have assimilated. With our froggy feelers. And our beautiful frog mustache. There you go. So this is one of the many captures in the game. So once you've captured a different creature, which there are many, you can explore around. Of course, we're just hopping like a frog, but if you want to really get it going, you can jump like this. So the high jump is one of the few powers of the frog, I suppose. You can swim around, just like the frog suit of Mario 3. And you can jump out of that water, lickety split. And there you go. More Goombas. We're just going to kite around them and keep moving on. It's fun to do the high jump. Kind of feels like there's like low gravity. There are also hidden coins sometimes, which is fun. Yes. 
Some puzzles will necessitate you using different captures to break through obstacles, traverse dangerous areas, take out enemies, etc. But for now, the frog suit is more of just kind of a fun little exploration piece. There's even a treasure chest, but we can't do anything with that yet. Unfortunately, the frog is not equipped to do so. So you're going to need to get rid of the frog, and you can use Cappy to do so. Doing that gets you a, a power heart or whatever it's called in this game, I don't know. But doing so moves your life bar from 3 to 6 like Mario Galaxy. So here we are at the top of Top Hat Tower. And it appears that Bowser has really done a number on these guys. The citizens of the Cap Kingdom, unfortunately, are in a really rough spot. And it seems like Cappy was willing to help us, so maybe we can help Cappy out. We're friends now, and friends help each other, right? Unless you're Facebook friends. So here we go. It looks like... Uh, We've got some of Bowser's minions here. Looks like his wedding planners have decided to crash into this area and are holding this area hostage. Let's show them who's boss. These, my friends, are the Brutals. So there you go. He's a fella with a mustache. Apparently they're also Italian. So yes, these are the wedding planners, the Brutals. They are kind of like the pseudo-villain for the early part of this game, and it appears that they want to throw hands. So let's go ahead and do that. It's the first battle of the game. The game does not hesitate with throwing you right into it. But anyway, this is the first Brutal, and you gotta knock its hats off. He's gonna bounce around. You can dodge the hats, of course, but you're gonna wanna, of course, get rid of them when you get the chance. And there you go. Another rinse and repeat. Kinda rule of thirds boss fight for this game. Rule of seconds, I guess. Take that back. Oh. Really knocked in for a loop, got him. And one of the Ways to sort of fast travel is using these electrical wires. Not 100% sure how this makes any sense, but that's Mario for you. Go ahead and travel towards this super moon. And we get our title screen. Hey guys, it's Team Mike. Hello and welcome to a new series on my channel. This is Super Mario Odyssey. Prepare yourselves for a wacky adventure. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited to share this with all of you. I know it's been a little bit of a, a trip since I've been making content, but I'm back at it, feeling good again. Health is tip-top shape. So here we go. Time to touch down in the first real kingdom of the game. And to gather the collectible of this game. The Power Moon. We're going to need to get plenty of them throughout the course of this one, and there's even more Power Moons than there are stars in Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 combined. So this is the Cascade Kingdom. Welcome. Seems like Cappy's feeling a little wired right now. Maybe he's had a little bit too much to drink. Too many shots of espresso. So here we are. Welcome. Go ahead and grab our first... Checkpoint flag, this is the Waterfall Basin. And in this game, coins are handled a little differently. In previous Mario games, there were red coins, blue coins, your same old, same old gold coin. In this game, things are a little bit different. Those types of coins don't exist anymore. Instead, we have area-specific coins, which is pretty neat. And there are, I believe, random amounts depending upon what kingdom you were in. So, as you can see here, there are 60 of these kind of purple, looks like prehistoric wheel coins. 
Nice touch. There's a chain chomp. Looks like it's Bow Wow from Link's Awakening coming to visit us again. Very kind. Haven't seen Bow Wow in a while, so it's a nice little reunion, right? Yes. This first kingdom is very good at being introductory to get you kind of used to what's going on. Showing you around. Collecting these coins is not always a requirement. In some places it is to make progress. But you can count yourself lucky if you find enough of them because you can purchase some cool things. So keep that in mind. So there you go. A new technique. You can... In my case, shake the Pro Controller, so you can do a homing attack if your aim is off, which mine probably will be a lot, knowing me in this channel, of course. So we were able to capture the frog. Do you think we can capture a Chain Chomp? What do you think? It seems pretty angry, though. Well, it looks like we certainly can, and we're going to go ahead and pull the Chain Chomp all the way past its leash. Break some new ground. Wonderful. Thank you, Chain Chomp. Appreciate you. Let's go ahead and gather our first Power Moon. Get used to this sound. It's going to happen a lot. Also, Cappy, very adorable. But we're stuck. We can't get any further. Oh, just kidding. The game took care of that joke instantly. So here we go. It appears as though if you saw that little graphic that we need to get, I believe, five more of these power moons in this area. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get used to the area, but that's okay. We're just having fun after all. The visual of this game were fantastic. The water on the screen. The text, the animations. But that's neither here nor there because we are looking to gather ourselves up a ship and unfortunately looks like this older model might need a little bit of a spit shine. Mario dripping wet from the falls. Very, very nice. All the things in this game, the little details are very fun and very well made. Yes, let's go ahead and toss our cap on the globe. And we can donate our first power moon and see what that does for us. Huh. Doesn't look like we have enough, unfortunately. It's like going to the store as a little kid and you're trying to buy some candy and your mom doesn't give you enough and then you panic and then you cry. Store my life. Okay, so we we need four more power moons. I said five. I actually meant four. I was just making sure you're paying attention, of course. See Mario's poll work here in a second. But first, coins. Yes. Try to gather those when you can, when you, oops. Okay. That's fun. Well, there's a little, uh, little tutorial for you. What happens when you jump off a cliff? There's no lives in this game. Instead, you pay with your wallet. It's like real life. Okay. So we donated 10 coins to the afterlife fund. And instead we are... Ship shape again. It's actually kind of nice because coins are a pretty easy to find commodity. So you don't have to worry so much about game overing in this one. It's definitely more in tune with kind of being uh, user friendly. This is definitely a very user friendly Mario game. So you have that to look forward to. It's kind of the way uh, gaming has gone nowadays. Not meant to be too punishing for like the the younger crowd that plays these games. It can be a little handholdy at times, but it is also kind of nice if you're like me and you just want to kind of kick back after a long day at the office and play a little bit of Mario. You know what I'm saying? So let's just keep exploring a little bit and see what we find up here. I'm seeing lots of dinosaur bones and fossils. What's going on here? Are there any dinosaurs in this area? I can't imagine that there would be. Huh. Well, I don't, I don't see one. 
Is there- oh! Would you look at that! There's a Tyrannosaurus Rex right here! So this is certainly one of the cool things that the game has put in. It's uh, one of the first captures that you'll do when you play this one. It's very funny is that it's a T-Rex. So yeah, unfortunately the T-Rex is not very good at jumping. So when you go into this area, you're just going to be kind of stuck from time to time. But it is very ferocious, of course, the king of the lizards. It's also a little bit slow, but you can destroy these uh, these platforms, get yourself some coins, as we slowly trudge ahead, as these chain chomps think that they're going to show us who's boss. Not today. That's very, very fun, very cathartic. And there you go. Let's stomp these little buggers out of the way, huh? How about it? Very cool. And unfortunately, the T-Rex was just too big for Cappy. Let's go ahead and gather some more coins. You can go back that way and explore as well. You do kind of skip a little bit when you go over here. So if you do want to go back and explore, you can. And once again, another flower puzzle in case you couldn't figure this one out. This is actually a technique that the game wants you to learn. So you can try to do it like that, but it's not going to really do too much for you. Um, but you're going to want to do a spin throw. So I guess like the best way to do it is uh, like this. So throwing the pro controller in a circle like that is kind of awkward, but that's the way that you do it. So the old spin throw is potentially useful if you're going to be doing a... Uh, combat with a few enemies in the way so you know it's it's situational of course like most things are in this game but if you if it feels right you do it of course it can be useful for collecting coins or trying to solve puzzles and all of that jazz whatever you're into but don't forget to come back a lot of this area gets opened up by the t-rex attack and you don't want to miss some of these purple coins what those coins will do like I mentioned before, we'll be using them to purchase some things, but what that will be is decided later on. So there you go. I don't know if I missed any coinage over here, but you can go back over there. That's just another checkpoint flag. I don't think I need that. We're on the quest for power moons after all. And once again, your coins will stay with you. So if you do leave this area and you come back, of course, you're not going to have to refind them, which is convenient and would be a really huge pain in the butt if it was not that way it would probably make me angry so thankfully they uh, listened to my emotions and did not make this game horrible well there's peach and her cat suit from mario 3d world that's a fun game kind of polarizing i know it wasn't everybody's favorite but i enjoyed it fun one to play with friends if you have those whoa I do like the fact that in the different kingdoms that you do go to, the coins will be different everywhere you go, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, it's really fun that they had kind of put a little bit of attention to detail into something like that. Of course they did, it's Nintendo, but you know, it's all in good fun. You can collect the coins. They'll be in varying amounts, like I mentioned before. So it's always gonna be different. So for this kingdom, of course, obviously, we just have the 50 purple ones so far. But whatever the amounts in the future are, I'll do my best to get most of them. I don't know if I'm going to, like I said, I'm probably not going to 100% this game or anything, but I'm going to do my best. Looks like there's actually some hidden blocks. And if only there was a large chained creature that I could possess temporarily. Hmm. Any ideas, viewers? Oh, there's a giant chain jump right here. I had no idea. Same rules apply. Pull it all the way back on its leash and kaboom. There you go. Here's a new element of this game where they mixed a little bit of 2D and 3D. It's very cool. So you get a little bit of 8-bit uh, Mario here. 
We've gone flat, yes. We've been really uh, paying attention to our diet. The music also is representative of the... two or 3D space that Mario is in, which is a really nice touch. And of course, there's a ton of coins if you need them. You can't do the same fancy moves that you do in your 3D Mario, unfortunately, so you're gonna be stuck doing this. That's okay. And once you exit the space, you will immediately lose the 2D power. So just keep that in mind. And if you need another power heart, there you go. Of course, there will be a bit of a tussle here in a moment. So if you feel like you're gonna be in need of a little bit of additional HP, help yourself there. Don't fall off the ledge like I almost did. That would have been horrific. I don't think that there is um, there's not anything up here yet, but that Triceratops head looks a little suspicious. Maybe we'll come back and explore that later at another time. But it's just nice being able to like come up here and just look at the scenery a little bit. Look at this. Pretty beautiful as I do a horrible job of panning around the area. But yeah, look at that. Nice, beautiful landscape with the waterfalls and the chain shops trying to ruin our day. Let's go ahead and possess one of them. It's called capturing, but I think possession is actually funnier. We can bring it around town here. I don't know if you can run into the other one. Let's try it. Okay, a little friendly fire. Boop, one into the other. Chain reaction. Chain chomp reaction, in fact. Okay. And, uh... It's not over to the fat lady sings, so... Let's take care of that. Oh, goodness. But she's got something we want. In order to repair our airship, we need some power moons. Chain Chompkins. It does not appear that she wants to share her jewelry with us. This is Madame Brutal. She has her her Chain Chomp. Oops. Look at me. Already messing up the first boss fight. So you're going to want to go ahead and uh, capture her Chain Chomp, of course. Gather some coins if you need them. Power Heart was well needed because we are playing like hot garbage. So in order to do this fight correctly, as you can see, any creature that has a hat already is not something you can capture. So you're gonna need to find a way to do that. And in most cases, removing their hat just by a little bonk on the head is plenty to make them capturable. So we're gonna try to get out of the way here. From Madam Brutal. Whoop. Not today. We're playing spectacularly as we do in every Let's Play, of course. Yes. We need to wait for her to give a little resistance so we can fire away. Not sure how she got all the way up here, but uh, we took care of that, you know. She doesn't want to share her jewelry, so instead we forcibly take it and make her explode. So let's go ahead and get our very first multi-power moon. Usually this is the reward for beating a boss. Most moons come in quantities of one, but of course this is obviously three. So there you go. The multi-moon atop the falls. There you go. Very cool. We sure do, Cappy. Good math as well. So it does appear that the one moon we collected already plus the multi-moon should be enough to get the new airship going. But Cappy, you lied to us. So Cappy wants us to collect one more power moon in order to get the Odyssey airship going. 
but that's something that we are going to do next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll see you next time. Bye.